Well, Daniel, it has been uh, quite a while since you played a final. Is the adrenaline pumping a little extra hard today? Oh, definitely. I can't wait to be out there again. I'm really excited about being in the finals. What do you think is Mario's biggest weapon that you need to counter today? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to try to focus on my game and try to do the right things and see what happens. Well, best of luck out there. Thanks a lot. Well, Maria, you've been in many finals over the last couple of years. Are finals just other matches or are finals still something special? Oh, yeah. I mean, every final is special. I'm glad it's here. Again, I have an another opportunity in Zurich to do it. Uh, two years ago, I lost in the final, so I'm looking forward to a new chance. Well, Daniela had a good year, like in 2002, but since then, you know, things weren't clicking so much. What is she doing different this week, you believe, than over the last 10 months? I mean, she's had some great wins this week and, um, you know, I haven't seen too much, but uh, I mean, she must be playing well. She has a big game, you know, huge serve and, uh, you know, just got to play out there and uh, hopefully be consistent, have a good percentage of first serves and uh, we'll see. Thank you. Have a great final. Thanks. Well played. 15.
decide percentage so far early on in the match.
Makes you fight when you're used to winning. So it does. I think it does come into the mix here. It's a final as well.
and it is the eighth of the ten play for in Russian hands. Three for this one. Well, first of all, I would like to thank both of you girls for a fantastic finals. I think I speak for everyone. This was truly great tennis. Thank you very much. Before the match, you said, you know, it's important that you can concentrate on your own game, play your own game. I guess against an opponent like Maria, this is not always possible. Yeah, I have to give her the credit for the way she played, especially the last game. She served very well and uh, she deserved to win today. But um, I also would like to thank all of you guys coming here this week. It's been an incredible experience for me. Uh, the support has been amazing and uh, just can't wait to be back here next year. Well, you also said... You know, you also said that the key to you playing well here is that you're actually enjoying being out there. And I just wondered when I was watching you in the first set, is it, is it possible to enjoy it when you're being overwhelmed by an opponent like that? And what went through your head when you were sitting down after that first set? Um, I, I just tried to go back to, you know, what I did well this week and I was enjoying uh, my game and in the first set I was not really doing that and uh, yeah, I guess I wanted it too much and I, I was trying too, too hard at the beginning and then I sort of just tried to calm down and uh, try to play my game. As, as a lot of people know, in 2002 everybody was looking forward for, for you, like really doing it. Where do you feel like your game is now, the way you played this week compared to the year 2002 when you were number five in the world? Are you back up there? Uh, definitely, I think I'm much more aware of what I'm doing on the court and I think I'm trying to play a smarter game and uh, definitely I'm having more and more fun. <laughs> I mean, certainly would love to see you next year, how about that? Yeah, definitely I'm coming back, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, Maria, you said before, maybe you haven't shown the best tennis yet, but uh, I guess you saved the best for last. This must have been pretty close, especially in the first set to the best you can play. Yeah, well, I needed to. I mean, Daniela had, has had amazing wins this week. She's been playing great tennis, so I knew, you know, final of a tournament's never going to be easy, tough opponent, tough circumstances. So, you know, I just got to go out and perform my best and see what happens. You know, to a lot of people, it's always surprising how a tennis match can turn. I mean, you must have loved your chances after the first set. What happened in the beginning of the second? Well, not too much. I lost the game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, tennis. Uh, in tennis, things can change really quickly, and that was one uh, one great example of that. Um, you know, but what can you do? You just gotta just gotta get yourself back together, and um, and yeah, and win any way you can. <laughs> well, you're certainly able to step it up, and you say, well, I just hate to lose. I'm usually a relaxed person, certainly not on the tennis court. What drives you more, especially like some, some in a circumstance like this in a third set, where you were able to step it up? Is it the fear of losing, or is it the lust for winning, or what is it? No, I mean, you know, third set of a, of a final of a tournament, you know, you know, you got to try to come up with the best stuff and that's, that's what you hope for, you know, you go out before every, every point and just hope, um, you know, just to hit some good shots and have great points. I also read about you that you said uh, you're in work in progress, your career is a work in progress. Well, where do you want to end up? Well, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, I, I take it day by day, but uh, of course you try to set the highest goals for yourself, you know, I'd love to win many more Grand Slams and I'd love to be number one in the world again, but, uh, you know, it, it takes a lot of hard work and it just doesn't happen overnight and, uh, you know, I, I think I have many years ahead, ahead of me and uh, many years in Zurich too, so, <laughs> so it'll be good to be back. Well, congratulations again, thank you very much. Her 14th career title. Und wir heißen natürlich auch den Turnierdirektor Beat Richard ganz herzlich willkommen. Er kommt mit den Sponsoren Daniel Eckhoff. Ein ganz, ganz großer Applaus. Runner Up 2006, Daniela Hantukova. Lange 
der Schweiz. Dann gibt es eine Radouhr und die wird übergeben von Christian Goiking, General Manager von Nikon Schweiz. Und der Pokal kommt aus der Hand des Stadtpräsidenten der Stadt Zürich, von Dr. Elmar Ledegerber. Herzliche Gratulation, tolles Turnier gespielt, Daniela Handukova. Und ich darf selbstverständlich das Mikrofon ganz kurz weitergeben. Sie kann sehr gut Deutsch, wer weiß, vielleicht bedankt sie sich in Deutsch und sonst in Englisch. Thank you very much for being here. Yeah, thanks a lot. First of all, I, I uh, gonna speak English if you don't mind. Um, as I said in the interview, I would like, love to thank all of you guys coming here this week. It's been a fantastic support and I have enjoyed every single second on the court playing in front of you and uh, you have no idea how much you have helped me over the week, um, you know, pushing me maybe a little farther than I was able to and uh, really enjoyed it. So thanks a lot for that. I'd like to thank the organization team, the tournament director, Brad Richard, and uh, everyone involved in the tournament. Uh, it's a fantastic event, and as I said many, many times, uh, Zurich is one of my most favorite cities, so I always have a great time here, and uh, we really enjoy it. Also, the main sponsors, Rado, Whirlpool generally, and uh, um, Ball Kids, everyone involved in this uh, fantastic event. And uh, last but not least, I would love to thank my fantastic team, including my mom for her incredible support over the years and uh, Marco, thanks for being here. It's been a lot of fun this week. And uh, yeah, also noch einmal, ich möchte wirklich ein herzliches Dank für das, für das unglaubliche Publikum und ich freue mich schon jetzt uh, hier wieder nächstes Jahr zu sein. Danke vielmals, Daniela Hartikova. Und was bleibt? Wir krönen die Königin der Zurich Open 2006. Sie hat ihr viertes Turnier in diesem Jahr gewonnen. Mehr hat keine andere Spielerin auf dieser Tour gewonnen. Sie hat noch die Möglichkeit, das Jahr auf Platz 1 der Weltrangliste zu beschließen. Eine fantastische Turnierwoche, gekrönt durch den heutigen Sieg. Die Siegerin der Zurich Open 2006, Maria Sharapova. Es gibt die Blumen von Daniel Enker, dem CEO in der Schweiz. Es gibt die schöne Radio-Uhr von Christian Wolken, dem General Manager Nikon Schweiz. Und den Siegerpokal von Dr. Elmar Ledergerber, dem Stadtpräsidenten von Zürich. Maria, congratulations. I think it's your crowd now. I'm going to speak in English because you don't want to hear my German. So, um, <laughs> uh, first of all, I'm going to congratulate Daniela. She's had an amazing week. Um, you, she can play some amazing tennis and um, I'm very happy she showed it over, over this whole week. She's had tremendous wins and we all hope to see her in the top five very soon. There are not many, many tournaments in the world where all the players enjoy coming and I will say um, that this is definitely one of them. All of us players love coming back to the city of Zurich and love to play in front of all these fans. You know, two years ago I came here, lost to Alicia Molik in the final. Last year disappointed that I couldn't come back and try to win it and I'm absolutely thrilled that I could do it again two years later in front of all you guys in a new facility and a wonderful new facility. And um, I want to thank all the sponsors, all the sponsors that are on this board. Daniela mentioned them all. She did her homework very well. And, <laughs> and um, Sony Ericsson WT Tour, all the officials, everyone that's working, they're doing a greater job by the year. Um, my amazing team, my dad, Hosh, and Michael, thanks for keeping me alive at this time of the year. And, um, and again, thank you, thank you so much to all of you. I, I can't wait to be back next year and um, playing in front of this amazing stadium. And take care and have a great day.
Siegring 2006.